Good morning! Good morning, my smart students. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. It's mathematics time. So I want you to be ready for the lesson of today. So everyone, how was your weekend? I hope you enjoyed it. So, so everyone, today we are going to use the mathematics book, so I want you please to get your math book volume 2 and to open page 541. Please get some pencils and let's write the day and date. So everyone, I need your help. Who's going to help Miss Mune today and read the day and date? As I said to you, it's the first day of the week. So who can say the day and date? The day is Sunday. The day is Sunday and the date is? April 19, 2020. Well done everyone. So let's move to the title of the lesson. So I'm going to give you some time to read the title of the lesson. This is the title. So as I said to you so far, we have a new lesson today and we need to be ready. So I want you to listen carefully, sit properly, listen to my instructions. So what we're going to do now is to read the title of the lesson. So everyone, let's read the title together. Analyze Picture Graphs Part 1 so the title is analyze picture graphs oh what does this mean mm, let's think about it so listen everyone carefully to what i am going to say to analyze a picture graph means to carefully examine its data so this is what we are going to do today. That's why I want you to be focused. So here are our objectives. Let's go. So our objective for today is to analyze data on picture graphs. Here is the mental math as usual. So let's read the question carefully and try to solve it. So remember the strategies we are following. We need to circle the numbers and find the keywords. So who can help me to read the question? So everyone, let's read the question together. There are 10 players playing on each basketball team. There are 3 teams. How many players are there in all? So everyone, as I said to you, so far we need to circle the numbers and look for the keywords. So let me circle the first number and there is another number as you can see. And here is the keywords or the question that I need to answer. How many players are there in all? And remember everyone, all means we are gonna... Add. We're going to add. So we are going to add. But something else. Here there are 10 players playing on each basketball team. There are 3 teams. So let's imagine that. This, this is the first team. The second team. And the third team. Now in each team. There are 10 players, so let's write here 10 players. This is the first team, the second team, and the third team. Now we're going to add these numbers together. So everyone, 
What is the answer? I'm gonna give you some time. So, what is the answer? 10 plus 10 plus 10. 30. Well done, the answer is 30. Well done everyone, you are the best. So everyone, let's move now to the problem of the day and let's read the question together. Everyone, I'm going to be I'm going to give you some time to read. So let's start and I want to change this name to Omar. So let's say Omar had 200 and 91 paper squares in his paper folding kit. He used 150 paper squares. How many paper squares does he have left? Okay, so everyone, let's say this is the first number and this is the second number and here we go to the question. Can we read the question together, please? How many paper squares does he have left? So everyone, what do you think about this problem? Do you think that we are going to add or we are going to minus? So what do you think about this question or this problem? So what we are going to do? Minus. We are going to minus. We are going to we're going to minus, we're going to take away, we're going to subtract. But how do you know that we are going to minus? Because he said, how many paper squares does he have left? So, the word left helps us to find out this problem needs to be, who can say, It needs to be solved by using subtraction. Well done. So let's start to subtract these two numbers. First of all, we're going to put the big number on the top as usual. So let's read the number together. 291. And the second number is? 150. Okay, so let's minus so first of all everyone remember more on the top no need to stop so let's go ahead and do it 1 minus 0 equal 1 1 well done and 9 minus 5 I'm gonna four. give you some time 4 excellent and let's go to the last one. Okay, 2 minus 1. So what is the answer? 1. Well done. So here we go. So the answer is, let's read, 141. 41. Well done, everyone. Thank you for helping. So everyone, I, I got two videos for you, so let's watch the first one. It's about tally marks, so let's remember the tally marks and then we go to the other video. Our bodies need healthful food. I'm making a tally chart to keep track of the number of healthy foods we choose at the grocery store. I'll use tally marks to record the data. One, two, three, Four, five, six tomatoes. One, two, three heads of broccoli. One, two pineapples. Here are the results. How many healthy foods were chosen? Six tomatoes plus three heads of broccoli plus two pineapples equals 11 healthy choices. A tally chart is a great way to keep track of healthy choices. Be good to your body and eat the right foods. Make your choices count. So everyone, let's move to the second video and watch together. Please, I want you to pay attention. 
Hey everyone, today we are going to learn about picture graphs. Let's go on over and take a look. We are going to build a picture graph and use it to answer questions about the data we collect. Using a picture graph will help us visualize the data we have. Here are a bunch of colored pencils from my class at school. We need to answer some questions about these pencils. But first, we need to organize them into a picture graph. Let's organize these pencils by color. We have quite a few pencils here of different colors. Let's count the blue first. There are one, two, three, four blue pencils. Now let's count the red pencils. We have one, two, three red pencils. Here we have one, two, three, four, five green pencils. Last, we have the pink pencils to count. There are one, two, three, four pink pencils. Great! Now we have our data to put into the picture graph. To start our graph, we need a title for the picture graph. Since our data is dealing with the colors of the pencils, should we call it pencil colors? Yeah, that sounds great to me. Here on the left, we will list the different colors of pencils that we have. Up on the top, we have blue, then red, then green, and on the bottom, we have pink. We can label this side colors, so we know that this side of the graph shows us the colors of the pencils we have. This graph is starting to look really good. Now, to show the number of colored pencils we have, we are going to use these pictures of pencils. Each one of these pictures will represent one pencil. When using a picture graph, we need to use a key. The key tells us what the symbol or picture means. One of these pictures represents one colored pencil. All right, now we can put the data on our graph. Let's start with the blue colored pencil. How many blue pencils do we have? We have four. Great job. So I will use four pictures to represent the four blue colored pencils we have. How many red colored pencils do we have? We have three red pencils. So let's put down three pictures to represent the three red pencils. How many green pencils do we have? We have five green pencils. Let's put down five pictures for the green pencils. Great job. We have one more left to put on the graph. How many pink pencils do we have? We have four pink pencils. So let's put four pictures to represent all four pink pencils. This is awesome, guys. We now have a picture graph that shows how many colored pencils we have and how many of each color. This graph gives us lots of information. Now we can answer some questions. Are there more blue pencils than green? If we look at the picture graph, we can see that the answer is no. There are more green pencils than blue. We can tell that by seeing more green pictures than blue. Now, can you tell me which color has the least amount of pencils? Red has just three pencils, and we can see there are three by the pictures on the graph. Last question, how many pink and red pencils are there together? There are seven. When you add the four pink pencils to the three red pencils, we get seven. Great job, guys. So everyone, after watching the two videos, let's use our background knowledge and try to remember what we've learned last week about tally charts and picture graphs. So I explained to you last week what is the difference between two of them. So everyone, in the tally chart, we use tally marks to show the data, while in the picture graph, we use pictures to show the data. So everyone, for example, if we want to uh, transfer the data here from the tally chart to the picture graph, we're going to use 
the same amount of numbers but we will draw pictures so let me show you something here for example uh, let's go to the bird so let's say that uh, 4 plus 2 plus 5 who can tell me what is the what is the total what is the total 11 11 so 11 people were surveyed so let's check here four people chose bird so we're gonna draw here I can I will try to draw it's hard to use this so so let's draw four birds and here two people chose cat so let's draw uh oh I'm trying okay you want to draw cat and five people chose dog so one two three four five so as you can see we transferred the data from the tally chart to the picture graph so everyone we are going to use the book so please I want you to open page so everyone, as I said to you so far, we are going to use the book, so please uh, open your book and go to page 541. This is the number of the page. So I want you to write the day and date. The day is Sunday and the date is April 19, 2020. So everyone, here is the title of the lesson, Analyze Picture Graphs, and let's now try to analyze the picture graph, this one, as you can see, in the middle of the page. So in this lesson, you are going to use a picture graph to answer some questions. So I'm going to ask you many questions about the picture graph because we want to analyze the data when you look at a picture graph always look at the key this is the key everyone to see how many each picture stands for the key will help you understand the data in each picture so what we are going to do now is to count how many people voted so everyone listen carefully as I said to you each food equal one vote so if you want to know how many people voted for their favorite dinner you need to count the pictures of the food so everyone let's count the pictures and see how many people voted? Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So everyone, eleven people voted for their favorite dinner. And something else I forgot to ask you about. What does the graph show? What does the graph show? It shows favorite dinner favorite dinner so now listen carefully let's analyze the data let's carefully examine the data so how many people like spaghetti how many people like spaghetti so we need to write the number here so let's count one two three four so we are going to write Four. and um, let me say how many votes did the tacos get this is a Mexican food so how many votes did tacos get 
One, two, three, four. Four. And how many votes, let me say, did chicken get? Two votes. One, two. And finally, let's say, how many votes did meat loaf get? One. One. Excellent. So everyone, if we will check here the total. So everyone, let's check how many people voted for their favorite dinner. Four plus four equal eight. Eight. Two plus one equal three. Okay, so three plus or eight plus three equal eleven. Well done. So this is the answer. Now everyone listen carefully. How many, let me say, or which dinner was the favorite? Which dinner was the favorite? Spaghetti and tacos. Because they are equal. So they are, as I said to you, equal. And which dinner was the least favorite? Meatloaf. Because as you can see, one person voted for the meatloaf. Well done. So let's check our answers now. Let's go and check our answers. Okay. So let's say them again. Spaghetti. Four people voted, voted for spaghetti. And four people voted for tacos. And two people voted for chicken. And finally, one person voted for meatloaf. So here, which dinner is the least favorite? It's the meatloaf. Well done, everyone. Now let's turn the page. So everyone, go to page 500. 50 or 42 sorry 542 this is the number of the page now everyone as you can see this is the picture graph and our mission today is to analyze the picture graph by answering the questions that are related to the picture graph so, as you can see, the data is over here, and let's go to the key, because as I said to you so far, the key is very important. The key is very important. Always look at the key to see how many each picture stands for. The key will help you understand the data in the picture graph. So, everyone, here is, as you can see, the key. So. First of all, we will go to see what does the graph show. What does the graph show? Favorite pet. Well done. And how many people voted? As you can see here, look at the picture as I told you. Look at the picture, sorry, as I told you before. Um, if you want to find the total of the people who voted, you need to count each picture. So let's count the pictures. How many pictures do you see? Twelve. One. Yes, let's count them. One, One two, two, three, three four, four, five, six, six seven, eight, eight nine, nine, ten, ten eleven, twelve. twelve. So everyone, twelve people voted for their favorite pet. So everyone, uh, let's answer the question. What pet is the favorite? What pet is the favorite? The fish. How do you know it's the fish? Because it has more votes than the other pets. So as you can see here, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So you can say six people voted for the fish as their favorite pet. And how many votes does each picture show? One. One vote. Well done. So each picture shows one vote. 
So well done everyone and now let's move to the second picture graph in this page. So everyone I want you to look at the picture graph and tell me what can you see? I can see favorite summer activity. So the picture graph shows favorite summer activity. What do kids like to do in summer time? So everyone here, uh, let's first check how many kids voted for their favorite summer activity. So let's count all of them. One, two, two three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So thirteen people voted for their uh, favorite summer activity. How many people voted for swim? One, two, three, four, five. Five people. Five people. And how many people voted for by cried? One, two, three. Three people. Excellent. Oh, how and how many people voted for inline skate? One, two. Two people. Two. And how many people voted for play baseball? One, two, three. Three people. Three. Excellent. Now, everyone, as you can see, here's the most and here's the least. Least. Well done. So, everyone, what activity is liked the least? Inline skating. It has only two votes. It has only two votes. And which two activities have the same number of votes? Just Bike. look here and tell me which two activities have the same number of votes. Bike riding, playing baseball. Okay, as you can see here, three people voted for play baseball and three voted for bike ride. Well then, and how many people like to swim and play in art? Play baseball and art. Um, okay, sorry. so how many people like to swim and play, play baseball and art? Um. In all means, we're gonna add. So, how many people like to swim? Five. Five plus. How many? Three. Three. So what is the total, everyone? I'm going to give you some, some time. The total is? Eight. Eight. Well done. So everyone, let's check our answers. Okay, let me erase so we can see. So it's all correct. So one more time everyone before ending our lesson I want to say to you today we used the picture graph to answer some questions about the data the data in the graph so remember to analyze a picture graph means to carefully examine the data and also try to answer the questions that related to the picture graph. So everyone here, click on the following link and help uh, Miss Octopus to read the graphs. So just click on the link. And here there is a game. So if you if you like to play the game, it will be great. It's a lot of fun. So don't miss it. Finally, everyone, please answer or not answer. Let me say upload your answers in your portfolio in Class Dojo and have a nice day. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for listening.